Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to customize your device running iOS 15. Now with iOS 15, you get some extra new features that will make customization much, much better on your iPhone. Like having no redirects when you install different themes on your iPhone, no redirection to the shortcuts app. That is of course a new feature that you cannot do on older devices, on older iOS versions, you can only do on iOS 15. So before we get into all that, and of course much more, I will also show you guys how to hide widgets on the home screen, how to create custom widgets with custom actions and all that. But before we get right into that, make sure you smash the like button on this video. That little like button actually helps out a lot. So I would really appreciate if you could leave a like before you leave this video. Let's first take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, the top VPN solution for iPhone users with an easy to use interface that lets you connect with one click or zero clicks if you enable the auto connect feature. With more than 5,000 different servers across 60 different countries, it offers amazing speeds. These now have been confirmed by the latest tests, NordVPN is the fastest. You can have it in up to six different devices across all the major platforms. Android, Windows, iOS, Mac OS, Linux, and Android TV as well. And the amazing features like the automatic kill switch, which will block the internet connection if the VPN connection accidentally drops. And of course, you can use NordVPN to unlock websites, entertainment websites, and the content that is blocked in your area unblock your favorite games and geo-restricted servers so that your location doesn't limit what you can play. Go ahead, check it out by clicking the link right down below in the description of the video to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. All right, so first of all, I will show you guys how to create hidden widgets within the home screen of your iOS 15 device. So you can see right here, I have four rows of icons and then there is this blank space right there. But if I just swipe like this, I can reveal my widgets that I have hidden right there on the home screen. And of course you can do that with medium sized widget, with bigger or smaller widgets, whichever ones you want. Now the way to do this, all you have to do is just go ahead and simply install an app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. This is the app right here. Now the first step to doing this is of course, head on to the home screen of your device. And then from here, just go to the edit mode and then just swipe to the last page where there are no icons, of course, except the dock icons. Take a screenshot here and of course save this under the camera roll, then open the app that of course you will download and tap on create and load that picture from the camera roll of your device. Now that you have loaded the picture, this is what you will get right here. Make sure it is outlined like this so you know that you're using it currently and then go ahead and add the widget. If you wanna hide, let's say the small widget, go ahead and add the small widget from this app. So head on to the widgets panel, so when you go here, make sure you add the small one. And then what you need to do is you can see right there, just choose basically the position where you want to place the widget. In this case, we want to place it right here. So what all we have to do is just go to the edit mode and create a stack here with both these widgets. Now, if you place, let's say on another place, we want it right here. All you gotta do is just 3D touch there, tap on edit and choose the position right there and you're good to go. So right now, just like this, you will have a hidden widget on the home screen. You can swipe like this to, re to reveal the widgets that you have hidden there. Swipe like this and you can see everything goes away. It will have nothing but that little dot right there. Unfortunately, it has to have that because Apple doesn't allow to have a widget with no name at all. Next up, I will show you guys how to install themes on your iPhone. Easy way, of course, install themes that are complete with stock apps and third party apps as well. And also, how to remove the redirection that you get that it basically the icon will redirect you to the shortcuts app and then back to the app that you want to open using that icon. You can do that now with iOS 15 with a great feature that Apple has added to iOS 15. Now, first of all, the way to install these beautiful themes and do that with just a couple of clicks without having to create icons, the way to do that, simply download this free app from the app store and you will get here a ton of different themes and they're really complete with a ton of different icons for of course all the stock apps and most third party apps that people use on everyday basis. So you can see right here the themes, we have a ton of them. At the top right there you will find the trending themes and of course all you have to do when you want to install one of them, you can see this iOS 6 classic one, really great. You go ahead and tap on it and you will get here like 
two different sections you will have the system apps and third party apps you can install both of them of course so just tap right there it will redirect you to safari and tap on allow right here and this will actually download the profile so from here you need to head on to the settings app so when you go to settings you will have the profile here just tap install and enter your passcode now once you have done that you will have it installed tap install once again here tap done and now you're good to go you can see when you go to the home screen you will have all the icons here now you notice that if i just go ahead and try to open one of these apps it will actually redirect you can see that redirection right there now the way to fix this very easy all you have to do is turn on reduce motion but by turning on reduce motion it will completely adjust, like remove all the animations from your ios device of course you don't want that to happen well this is where ios 15 comes into play and it's amazing new feature so let's head on to the settings app on the settings app what you need to do is go under accessibility and then scroll all the way down and you will have per app settings here's where you can set settings for any app individually but what you can do is also tap on add app and set settings for the home screen so this way you go to home screen here then tap again here and make sure you enable reduce motion now you're enabling reduce motion only for the home screen you will have the animations on all the apps anywhere else just on the home screen there will be no animations that way of course you will get rid of that transition and you can see right now how it works so you tap right there it takes you straight into the app of course that transition will be removed and you're good to go very very smooth as you can see right here right into the app it works really really great and of course amazing to have these kind of like themes on your device and have that transition gone which is actually really really bothering and that's probably the reason most people won't actually install themes at all because of that transition but now with the new ios 15 feature you can get rid of that transition now if you have noticed here on the home screen another thing i have done this is also another new feature on ios 15 i have the labels on smaller text so you can make the labels smaller on the home screen of course using this new ios 15 feature just head on to the control center while being on the home screen of your device 3d touch here and make sure you switch right here to home screen only and go ahead and just make the small basically the font smaller right there and you will have like smaller right here smaller labels on the icons of your ios 15's home screen icons now basically apple won't allow us to completely remove the labels but you can make them smaller this way that is of course like an alternative to having a more cleaner look on the home screen of your ios 15 device and last but not least, I will show you guys how to add amazing widgets on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. Widgets that not only look good and much much different, they will also be very very useful for your device. Like this widget right here. I can basically open these apps directly from here without having to tap the icon. I can go ahead and open them directly from the widget or this one right here. You can see how cool this looks. We have the calendar right there, the clock. We have also a search bar for Safari. Now you can of course use that. From here, I can go ahead and tap and go straight to Safari and search for anything I want. Quickly go to Safari from the widget on the home screen. Now the way to add this is of course, again, I will just say this, the best ever iOS widget app widget you cannot get an app that is better than widget it offers a ton it offers new widgets every day that people will release and of course you will apply them through widget you can add custom actions to your widgets you can just like launch apps you can open urls or maybe even run any shortcut from any widget that you have now the way it works all you have to do is of course go to widget right here and we can go ahead and explore here different widgets and add them to the home screen of your device now when you go to manage here what you can do is to create these like transparent looking widgets all you have to do is just go to the edit mode and go to the last page here without icons take a screenshot and then just make sure you go ahead and go here set transparent background and load here the one for the light mode and one for the dark mode and you're good to go once you have done that everything else will be done automatically so when you go ahead and add a widget 
to your app here when you download a widget you can go ahead and of course add actions so let's go ahead and try to download one of these so here's a system info one really good one really good looking so just go ahead and download that now what i can do is go to create here and find the widget that i just downloaded here so let me just go ahead and find that here's the one i can go ahead and go to edit and i can tap the plus button what i can do here is add a tap action tap actions can be found right here tap on tap action you can see now that part right there that is highlighted you can change its size and basically when you tap on that part you will perform the action that you set here so i can set an action to be performed on this half of the widget and another action on the other half of the widget and of course i can change its position right here but we will place it on the left side right here then we can go to action here and you can see you can open url you can run a shortcut or you can reload the widget from there and you will have also apple apps you can launch any app you want or you can go ahead and choose one of the third party apps to launch from here so if we go to apple apps we can go ahead and choose an app to open with this of course with this widget so let's just go ahead and choose a random app here let's just go with safari in this case so here we have safari and we all have to do is just tap back here tap confirm and let's add this to the home screen now that we have added that widget on the home screen you can see if i tap right there it won't do anything it will just open the app but if i tap right here it will actually open safari that's the way to customize widget have custom widgets widgets that can actually do something on your device and not just stand there and display information so that's basically it for this video guys this is how you can customize your iphone running ios 15 and now with the new ios 15 features it makes customization that much better and of course you will be able to do much more with your device thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys on the next one